I don't want to do on the spot interviews right now. You love to talk. I've I seen do you. Love to talk. So it's fun I love now. to talk and I love Fox Five. One of the most vocal leaders of an Atlanta group protesting police brutality has himself been arrested multiple times for, of all things, impersonating a police officer. Tyree Page is currently on probation after pleading guilty to a lesser crime of obstruction of a police officer. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis talked to Page today about the irony of these criminal charges. That's right, Tanae and Russ. Yeah, Tyree Page likes to refer to himself as Sir Major Page, leader of Black Lives Matter of Greater Atlanta. His extensive court files offer another surprising description, though, cop wannabe. No justice! In the days following the often chaotic marches through Atlanta protesting fatal police shootings, Tyree Page became one of the faces of the movement. He was part of the group that met with Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed to demand changes in police training and tactics. Page even spoke at a joint news conference. And we stand on the shoulders of those who have paved the way for us to be able to be able to protest in the streets and to be able to have our voices heard. What the mayor's office says it did not know at the time is this police protester had already been arrested multiple times for impersonating a police officer. I just want to know a little bit more about these criminal charges that you've had against you for impersonating a police officer. Mm -hmm. How can you justify that when you've been protesting against police brutality? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I have a PR director. You can reach out to her. I'm talking to you right now. Come on. I don't, I'm not doing, I don't want to do on the spot interviews right now. You love to talk. I've seen I do you. Love to talk. So it's I love now. to talk and I love Fox 5. How you guys doing? I do Fox 5. I like you guys. Um, right now is not appropriate time. Let's talk right now about these criminal I'm charges. Talk. I'm not talking You've been charged that. multiple times Thank with you. impersonating a police officer. How can you justify that? Page's public social media sites boast pictures of him decked out with weapons and tactical gear. In December 2014, Atlanta police charged him with impersonating a police officer when they found him at the Shell station on Joseph E. Lowry Boulevard wearing a replica of the Atlanta police officer uniform, Glock 45 automatic pistol, and other gear. According to the police report, he had a black female handcuffed in front of the gas station. Page said he was working security there. In October 2015, police reports say Page was again armed, wearing a bulletproof vest outside a MARTA station. He even demanded to see ID from a man who turned out to be an APD sergeant. The police impersonation charges even stretch into this year. According to court records, Page, quote, blustered his way past security guards here at the Sloppy Floyd building by claiming he was an FBI agent. The court records say he was carrying a gun. In fact, a witness at the Sloppy Floyd building stated Page had more weapons than I ever seen an officer wear. He ultimately was allowed to clear all three counts by pleading guilty to lesser charges of obstruction and carrying a weapon in an unauthorized location. Page is currently on two years probation. You, you protest police brutality. If you want to be a cop, why don't you just apply to one of these places? Page and the Black Lives Matter of Atlanta movement parted away several months ago. Recently, he started his own group, Black Lives Matter of Greater Atlanta. Tiffany Roberts is legal advisor to the first group. She says they had no idea Page had been arrested so many times on police impersonation charges. I would say it's peculiar at the very least. Um, and some aspects of, of it are alarming as um, considering being able to get firearms past security checkpoints and so forth. Are you glad he's not part of your group anymore? I'm happy that anyone who doesn't adhere to our principles um, chooses to do something else. Well, both the mayor's office and Atlanta police tell us Page's criminal record was, quote, not relevant in their decision to include him in a meeting with other protesters. They said it was a public meeting and anyone who wanted to join was welcome. So, Randy, has Page explained at all why he had all of this gear? In a couple of places in the police reports, and he told uh, police that the reason he had all this gear and the guns and all that was that he was a bounty hunter. He was a recovery agent. Mm -hmm. But you have to be registered with the local sheriff's department to be a recovery agent in Georgia. And we checked with Fulton and DeKalb, and he's not registered with them. Well, perhaps he will talk to us at one point about this. As you pointed out, he uh, has he likes to, talk. to talk in the back. In he does like to talk. In the recent past. All right, my friend. Thanks. Thanks, Randy.